Howdy everyone, Schwing here. Today, we're gonna be looking at my 10 favorite resource packs for Minecraft 1.19.2. A lot of these resource packs are lightweight, quality changes of life, but we'll be looking at everything from mob retextures, to new texture packs, to new ways to look at redstone. With that said, let's get right into it. Minecraft ladders are definitely ladders in Minecraft. They get the job done, but I think they can look a little better. Well, with the Better Ladders 3D Resource Pack, you can make your ladders pop. I think these look great. They really stand out from the other blocks and give the ladder some really cool depth so it stands out a lot more. Redstone is another one of those things that has a timeless look, but I found a resource pack that makes it look pretty cool. Take a look at this. With the redstone wire resource pack, your redstone turns into a giant 3D wire. It's also kind of cursed looking, but hear me out. While it doesn't change how redstone fundamentally works, it does add some cool visual tweaks like diagonal redstone. That will of course switch when you add a crossway in it. Personally, I think it looks really cool. And you could also use it decoratively too. I mean, check this out. It's like a really messed up rug. But if you don't really like these wires, I promise you'll like the next resource pack. Let's get into it. Here we are on an entity tester map to take a look at the recrafted mobs resource pack. This resource pack adds a ton of variety to the mobs in Minecraft, pulling from Minecraft Story Mode, Pocket Edition, and other Minecraft spinoffs. So we'll start right off the bat with my favorite retexture, which is the Ravager. Look at that. I don't know what this is from. Anyone in the comments, if you do know, let me know. Because this thing is cool. You'll see we have the little key fella, hey! Which is a new texture for the chicken. We have a new look to the silverfish. And if we kill all the entities and then respawn them, you'll see that some actually have variation to them. Like here's a variation of the villager. I think this is the wandering trader. <laughs> oh no, that was the llama. You'll see that there's also variety to the chickens. And if we step outside here, we'll see that some entities like the pigs and cats have unique variations. Overall, some really cool retextures that add some really fun variety without having to download any mods. Hi, cow. Our next resource pack is Simply 3D and its expansion bundle. If you look behind me, our crafting table and furnace look a little different. That's because this resource pack adds a new look to a ton of utility blocks. Let's take a look at some more. So here's everything that comes in the basic Simply 3D install, from simple touches to the stone cutter having a little bit more of a frame, to the bookshelf finally getting some depth to its books. I also think the cauldron looks super cool with its new rim, and the lodestone just looks great. And behind me, you'll see everything added with the extras pack. I love how cute the pumpkin is, it's not too crazy, it's just an extra stem on top. The shrieker looks cool, and I love that the TNT block looks like TNT wrapped with a giant label. And I know what you're gonna ask, oh yeah. And now for a texture pack, whose name I won't butcher, but is on screen. Now this is the only texture pack on this list, and it's a personal favorite of mine. Let's go through these biomes and take a look. This adds such an adorable 8-bit style UI. If you love cute texture packs like this, this is one for you. Like, look at the nether. It doesn't feel like we're in hell anymore. It feels like we're in fun hell. And the forests and villages are just so cute. Crops look awesome. And I just love the overall art direction of this pack. Underwater is colorful and fun. And I'm really a big fan of the ores as well. So if you're in the market for a new texture pack, definitely give this one some love. On to the next resource pack. 
I'm sure you've noticed by now, but my house, it's a little empty. And it needs some decoration. One of the first things I always decorate with is the bed. Regular Minecraft beds get the job done, but fancy beds make the beds fancier. Duh. Now, different color beds aren't just solid colors, but they all have their own adorable look, like the white bed. The orange bed has a fox, the magenta bed a flower, light blue has some really cute undersea pixel art, yellow is of course a bee, lime has a funny frog on it, pink is a pig, gray has a little lightning bolt on it, light gray has an adorable bunny pixel art, cyan has this sort of mushroom texture to it, purple a shulker, blue has a little seaside pixel art, really like this one. Brown has a cow. Green has the classic look of a creeper on it. Red has a mushroom from Super Mario. And last but not least, black, with a cute little moon in the night. All this talk about beds is making me kind of sleepy. And nothing helps the eyes better than a proper darkened UI. Which is why with the dark mode resource pack, you can change your regular white UI to a calm dark mode. This also slightly tints the buttons and changes that horrific Mojang Studios red. So give your eyes a break and give this resource pack a try. Also, speaking of trying things, you should try to click that little subscribe button down there. It really helps the channel and it means a lot. Speaking of decorating my house, I have a resource pack that'll change saplings that are potted into bonsai and they're super cool. Let's take a look. Here I have six pots and six saplings and you'll see being regularly planted the saplings look like saplings. But with this resource pack on, our oak sapling becomes a little bonsai. Spruce? A little spruce. Birch? A tiny birch tree. Jungle? Is my personal favorite. Look at that. Acacia? A close second to the jungle and dark oak. There's a little tiny stub. Oh, I think these look so much better than potted flowers and of course the regular potted saplings. Small little quality stuff like this turns your home from okay to oh my gosh there's a tiny tree. Uh, anyway. These next two resource packs might be a little polarizing but I'm kind of a fan. Our first one takes individual blocks placed next to each other, such as this wall behind me, and consolidates it into one giant seamless slab. Is it my favorite look? Uh, not on the wall, but I honestly like how the floor came out. Looking around, it's one concise slab with a cool little outline. Tell me in the comments below, which one do you prefer? I do think this resource pack starts to look its best when combined with the mineral blocks, such as a block of diamond. You see that they become a giant slice of cheese or ice, rather than a weird grid of just blocks stacked next to each other. Anyway, if you think seeing all those textures consolidated looks weird, you're probably not ready for the next resource pack. This next one is called Compact Items. What's the change, you might ask? Well, let's hop into first person. Kind of a weird look, right? Compact items makes it so there's less clutter on your screen, shrinking down any items in your hands, but not your hand itself, to clear up how much screen space a sword or a block would normally take. I've honestly been running around with it for about 10 minutes and I'm starting to really like it. It's definitely weird, but if you think that the items in Minecraft take up a little bit too much screen space, I'd give this one a try. Anyway, this has been my 10 favorite resource packs for Minecraft 1.19.2. Thank you for making it to the end of the video, and if you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. A huge shout out to the talented creators that made all these resource packs, and a huge shout out to you for watching this video. As always, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye for now.